Do you think that you could walk someone through surgery that's never done it before if your life depended on it? Depending on the surgery, yes. Which one would you pick? Um, I think a uh, provided the person, this random person, is serviceable with their hands. They're not yeah. going to like, you know, yeah. have a gigantic tremor and, yeah. and they're coachable. Yeah. And they're say, willing. Say it's me. Right? Yeah, dude, I could walk you through um, a carpal tunnel surgery. Okay. I think I could walk you through fixing an ankle fracture. You could wash out anything. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Like if there was an infection in someone's knee. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I think it'd be really hard to walk you through a total hip replacement okay. without you having ever seen that. Yeah. That'd be a disaster. Sure. Saw me amputations. Mm -hmm. Not all. I mean, walk me through like an amputation. Yeah. I mean, uh, depending on what you're amputating, okay. you basically have to ensure that whatever you cut, you can close. If you were to like, you know, uh, cut someone's arm, like, you know, straight like that, what skin are you closing? Like there'd be too much oh, okay. tension on it. Okay. Um, below the knee amputation, it's not yeah. just like a, you know, sometimes there is a guillotine amputations, which is like a stage procedure, but like a below the knee amputation that you might see more commonly you cut through the tibia mm -hmm. and then you leave a, a flap of uh, muscle and tissue that's uh, kind of farther down mm -hmm. your leg than where your bone cut was so that yeah. you can after you um, identify and ligate or tie off certain blood vessels mm -hmm. um, you can close that skin okay and muscle interesting yeah okay well, wow. we can do that uh, we would be able to do that together